All right, now it's time to talk about Moltres. Pokemon Go Moltres, moveset strengths and weaknesses. Before we dive right into the article, guys, we got to hear from our sponsors. Hi guys, Arthur here, owner of Camelot Shop, where we sell coins, raid passes, and all assortments of items in the shop of Pokemon Go. If you're interested in purchasing these items, you can go to the link in the description of the Discord in the description. Just to let you know guys, we are running a promo on our coins and items and raid and raid shops. If you're interesting interested in those promos, it will only be on your first purchase. You'll get an extra thousand coins on your f first purchases of these shops. If you're interested, like I said, you can go to the link in the description. Uh, go to the Camelot Shop Guide, and we'll show you how everything's done there. Also, if you want those promos to continue to going to towards your purchases. Then you must buy either a membership or a subscription on either YouTube or Twitch. And that's how you can continue getting those promos where you'll get an extra thousand coins. Any for information on that, please go to the link in the description. DM the owner of the shop, me, and you can ask more questions there in the Discord. Thank you and enjoy the video. Bye-bye. Alrighty. Pokemon Go Moltres is the legendary fiery mascot of Team Valor. My team. <sighs> Everybody calls it the uh, burning chicken or flaming chicken because it looks like a chicken. Like a rub it looks it, it's designed and it they designed it I guess to look like a rubber chicken. If you if you look at it um, it's supposed to be a phoenix. That's what the embodiment of the phoenix is. But it's not like it's engulfed in flames like a phoenix would be. Or it doesn't have that coloration of a phoenix. But when it becomes a shiny, when the shiny, when you get a shiny, then that will look like a phoenix. But it doesn't look like a phoenix right now. But it was supposed to look like a phoenix. That is what Moltres is supposed to be and envisioned was supposed to be was supposed to be the vision of a phoenix. Catching it isn't easy. Use our guide below on its strength, weaknesses, and move set. All right, um, I did like I like I mentioned in the previous video, guys. I did already beat this Pokemon already. And so many times, not beat it, but I already played against it so many times. Um, so um, I didn't, I didn't play as much as for Zapdos than I was for Moltres. I didn't need to do Articuno because I already had like Articuno from Shadow or Articuno Day, so I didn't really need to go after Articuno. But for Moltres, what I used was Water Pokemon. And not just, just pure water Pokemon. Because you know that there is just pure water types. I didn't just use pure water type Pokemon. I used uh, Swampert. Swampert. I used Swampert because I like using things that don't take... That can take hits. I like using Pokemon that can take hits. If they can take a hit, then it's a good Pokemon. Because then... Even though they, they are a slow attacker or their attacks don't land that much, that means that they can um, they can do some major, major damages when it comes to fighting other Pokemon. They can take a hit and can, they can deal a hit. And I like those. I like those because I can survive longer in that raid with, uh, rather than just going in and out of the lobby. I'd rather do that than not go in and out in the lobby. So what I used was... I had four Marsh Stomps, uh, thanks to, uh, thank you, uh, Nerfantic, for having Classic Mudkip Day last year. That's what they had last year, Class the, the Classic was Mudkip. They had two starters last year, so I was surprised that they did that. That's what I would assume they would use, maybe a Fire Starter for the next one, but 
They didn't. The last one was Giratini. So I'm glad that I made it to the last, uh, the last one. So, but um, well, we're gonna um, Marsh. I use Swampert. I use Swampert as the Pokemon because it's not only a Water type, but it's also a Ground type Pokemon. So not only if you have a if you buy or use some of your starters to buy some some of uh, some starters for not starters but some well yeah some starters to get to use two not get to use but have like two move sets so with marsh dump i have a water move and a ground type move so whenever i have an opponent who has like a, a weakness to ground type because also swamper can take some hits because it's a ground type pokemon a, lo a lot of the ground type rock type pokemon when it comes to water, of course, they're not going to survive that. But when it comes to any other moves, they can survive those a lot longer than other Pokemon. That's what has been my experience on using them. Um, so I would I would use that unless you have like a Mudkip, Shadow Mudkip, or something like that. I don't know if they ever released that, but I use Swampert. But uh, let's let's go there. Let's dig right there. We haven't even get in, got into the article. Well, there is an abundance of Pokemon to catch. Securing yourself, uh, Pokemon goes Moltres. Securing yourself, Pokemon goes Moltres. One of the Kento region's three legendary birds would be a great addition to your team. With such a high status in the game through, I mean though, it's not an easy catch. The bird of the requires some cooling down. Oh, the bird of fire requires some cooling down, like the bird of requires. <coughs> oh, that was weird. Uh, before we get into it, if you if you're after more great Pokemon Go content, we got a uh, Pokemon Go EV evolution guide, all the the latest Pokemon Go uh, promo codes. If you're in the market for some freebies and a Pokedex. That list all Pokemon who isn't, and uh, you click. I guess click these right here. Right. Let's go into. Oh no, the the links were already uh, underlined already. Never mind. Uh, red, uh, right. Let's get into the Pokemon Go Moltres guide. How uh, raids weaknesses strengths move set. What are the these weaknesses? And of course, like I said. You probably already know that, but uh, these are pe for people that don't know that, or maybe you want to remind yourself what are, what they are. How how can I encounter Pokemon Go's Moltres? So you want to catch Pokemon Go's Moltres? Well, you're going to have to find it first. There's only one way to do that, and however, that's not by hanging uh, about in the wild. You can only encounter Moltres by waiting for a five-star raid. Which I would already would love for them to be in the wild already. It's time to, for the legendary birds to be in the wild. No matter how small of a chance to encounter, it'll be fine to see those in the wild. What is the legendary? Uh, what is the Pokemon Go's Moltres raid schedule? Pokemon Go's Moltres is, uh, Moltres is set to appear in five star raids from July 6, uh, 2023 to July 13th. 2023 which is a seven day event alongside articuno zapados it will also be the focus of the spotlight raid hour on july 12 2023 from uh 18 18 which is what oh it's six six p.m all the way to seven p.m <clears throat> what are pokemon go moltres weaknesses what are they I already mentioned them to you before, but if it's a fire type, it's usually ground and water, and then there's probably other types. See, wa rock, water, electric, so basically rock Pokemon, which is also a what Golem is, but I use water Pokemon. That's what I use. I use the water slash ground type Pokemon as a f Fire and flying Pokemon, Moltres has a few certain types that it's weak to. 
if you're wanting to be the very best, it's good to know what these are. Thankfully, we listed them below. Rock Pokemon, Water Pokemon, Electric Pokemon. Of course, because it's a flying type, it does uh, Electric type does affect it because it is a flying type. It's a flying uh, fire type. I wish it was just a pure fire type Pokemon. But uh, since it does fly, it is a flying type Pokemon. As such, we recommend bringing, uh, an, bringing any of the falling Pokemon counters into battle for a heightened chance of catching Moltres. And I'll only read the top three like the last video. Right, uh... Rhyparados, Rhyperior, and Terrakian. They're all sounding like the top three would be um, ground, uh, rock type, ground type Pokemon. Mainly rock type Pokemon. Not a bad so, uh, selection right there. I'll just slow it down to see, make y'all see what is, uh, what else they're are offering to use. I have seen Aerodactyl, a lot of Mega Aerodactyls out there when raiding for this Pokemon, for the Shiny. <coughs> I don't think I've seen it in Zapdos, but I did see some in Aerod uh, in Moltres raids. I did see some of that. <sighs> what are Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Go Moltres strengths? If you want to catch a Moltres, you'll, you're going to want to bear in mind that it's resistance to quite a few different Pokemon. Try to avoid using any of these Pokemon, I mean, any of these against one of Kento's legendary birds. Bug, of course, grass, ground, fra fairy, um, fire, uh, fighting, fire, and steel. I did not avoid using a ground type, but the thing, one of the ground types was, like I said, Marsh Tom, and it was also a water type Pokemon, so fire did not affect it. Why would ground type, though? Why not ground type? Because, isn't it, I, I thought Gollum was, it, Gollum cannot be a pure ground type. There's no way. I mean... Is it rock type? It it, it looks like a rock, so it's got to be a rock type. But I I'm I'm not thinking it's a pure rock type. Is it a pure rock type? Is Gollum a pure rock type? Alolan Gollum, Alolan uh, Gollum is probably a pure, uh, electric slash rock type. Yeah, maybe ground type is not good. Um, even though um I used a lot of ground type moves on rock type um, fire type Pokemon. And they are, they are way effective, especially um, Earth Power, uh, Eruption. Is Eruption a, is a fire type or ground type? Earthquake, of course, earth, Earthquake is a lot of damage as well. But yeah, those, those are the ones that uh, you can't use uh, according to this article. Especially Grass and Bug type, don't use those. Steel type either, no. <laughs> No, even though you are a steel type person, no, don't use those. What is Pokemon Go Moltres move set? What is this move set? I'm hoping that they have their special moves. It's uh, like it's featured move, <coughs> but we'll see. Since Moltres is a mixture of flying fire type, it has an impressive set of moves available. When it comes to a quick move, we suggest channeling those flaming hot skills with fire spin. Oh, this is for, for PvP and PvE and all the go battling and stuff. So, uh, I didn't know that. Okay. If you're uh, looking to focus le less on damage output and more on gaining energy, then swing attack, uh, not swing attack, <laughs> wing attack is a suitable alternative it's all depending on who who's your enemy and what they like to use when it comes to choosing charge moves sky attack overheat fire blast or heat wave are all great picks fire blast uh, which one's the f best fire attack move though 
is it fire blast? It can't be heat wave. It's got to be. Mm, I would say either fire blast or heat wave would probably be the better of the of the three. Sky attack. Uh, I need. I like a fire move for a fire Pokemon. Well, for Moltres. Flamethrower would be awesome if it was there, but uh, it doesn't have Flamethrower as an option. Or if you want to alter, uh, utilize Moltres Rock Move, Ancient Power is another good choice. It has a Rock Move? Isn't it weak against Rock? <laughs> oh. So there's, there it is. Everything you need to know about Pokemon Go's Moltres. If you fancy getting... Uh, your gaming fix without heading outdoors perhaps you'll enjoy checking out some of the titles on our best mobile rpgs and best mobile mmo rpgs list put your feet up celebrate your moltres catch enjoy some of these games from the comfort of your sofa bed or whatever you fancy relaxing more from pocket tactic. Okay, that was it. <clears throat> okay, what well, I would use for Moltres for the move sets for PvP and PvE. Um, for depending it's depending on how you want your Moltres to be. So for maybe a quick attack, I would actually use because uh, I want it to be a pure fire move set so my fire move would probably be of course fire spin if that's the only fire move that it has for a quick attack and I would use <coughs> I wonder how good heat wave is the power of heat wave but if fire blast is the best fire move the uh, best fire charge move that Moltres has then it has to be fire blast that, that would be my move set for Moltres I'm just uh, I'm just glad I already got the shiny already on the first day. I'm so glad that that happened on the first day. So um, it's always lucky when I get uh, the the usually the fire red type Pokemon. I get it on so fast, but it takes me a while to get the yellow uh, of the three. And I'm talking about like when it comes to those type of when it comes to tr trio legendaries. Like the Horses of Justice, the Lake Trio, the Legendary Bird, the Legendary Beast. All those types, guys. Alright, guys. That is it for this video. Make sure to smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring the bell for notifications. Share the video. Put your thoughts in the comment section. And don't forget about the link that our sponsor mentioned. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video. Sorry for these coming out late, but thank you. Peace out. Also, guys, hopefully this uh, this video helps you out. Uh, you know, even though it's already like you're already deep into uh, this event, hopefully these uh, will help you out. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.